Good morning. Pastor Adam here from one of my favorite places in the church, the kitchen. This Easter is full of many firsts, and one for me was not being able to be at my mom's house for our big Easter meal. We made our own ham and made the most of it, but it just wasn't quite the same. Uh, and it's the same here at church. Things aren't quite the same, but we are making the most of it uh, through letters and phone calls and emails and being online together. Uh, we're doing the best that we can to continue to engage in ministry. And I hear again and again of ways that you are doing this, sending cards, running errands, delivering food, uh, reaching out to one another. And, and thank you so much for your partnership in this ministry together as we love our neighbors as Christ loved us. Well, as I mentioned, things are continuing here at the church. Ministry continues. The offices are much quieter uh, from time to time. Folks are here doing various things, but we're staying six feet apart, uh, making sure to be safe. Uh, I won't let you see in my office because office cleaning is not an essential task uh, during our sheltering time. Our gathering space uh, is quiet and looking forward to times when we can gather again and have the coffee and, and treats flowing freely. Our sanctuary has sorely missed having us gather together for worship, but is still a home for our worshiping time together as we worship online. If you haven't been able to worship with us online yet, know that our services are on our website and on Facebook and YouTube, so please uh, take a look and, and take some time uh, to worship together with us uh, online. And while so many things are changing around us, I want to remind you of one thing that does not change, and that is that Christ is risen. We celebrate, we give thanks for God's love and grace and the gift of Easter that Christ was raised from the dead and gives us eternal life and hope for each day. So it's my prayer for you that through these challenging days ahead that you would find hope and strength and assurance through the empty tomb and the promise of Jesus' resurrection. Thank you for your partnership in the ministry that we share. May it continue and grow and thrive. Uh, not because of what we do, but because of the gift that we have in the risen Christ. Amen.